Okay, so today we're going to do more ball testing, this time with wedge shots and have a look at spin rates of the balls. Uh, two new balls coming in today, Titleist AVX and the new Callaway Chrome Soft. Now in the hardness test, I ran some putts again. Chrome Soft was very, very similar to the old one, so maybe second or third softest. I had it in second softest. And then AVX sat just softer than... Um, Strix and Z Star, so about sixth as far as hardness goes. It was actually softer than Pro V1, Pro V1 X. I'm going to test today with a brand new RTX 4 wedge, 54 degree. Hit a bunch of shots. I think I think the softest is going to spin more, but I'm wrong all the time. So we'll, we'll find out. I'll go and hit some shots. Okay, so today with the wedge testing, I'm going to start with TP5X. I'm going to start with the hardest and then run down 60, 70 meter shots all the way down to 2RB RX, the softest ball. Let's see what we get for spin numbers. Results for the spin test are in, and uh, funnily enough, what I thought did happen. So the softer ball spun more on on average about a 70 meter pitch with my 54 degree wedge. So come on over, I'll show you what ball spun the most. Uh, the Callaway Chrome Soft, biggest spinner, followed by Tour B RX, the new Chrome Soft, Q Star Tour, Tour Response, Z Star. TP5, Pro V1, TP5X, Triple Stripe, Pro V1X, Chrome Soft X, Z Star XV, Tour BSX, and the lowest spinning ball was the AVX. Okay, so if we look at a combination of both length and spin, uh, which is I think is important for choosing your golf ball, we come up with slightly different results. So if I give equal weight to length and equal weight to spin, Come and have a look at the results. So on top, TP5X. Then tied second was Tua, BRX, and Pro V1. Tied third, well, fourth really, was Chrome Soft, the new Chrome Soft, and the TP5. And then in tied, I suppose, sixth and seventh is the Z Star and the Chrome Soft X. Now you can see there, some of those balls are clearly highly ranked because of spin, and some of them are ranked more highly because of the length. Okay, so this time I think this is how to rate the ball for me. This would be the best way. So I'll put double the value on length and just a single value on spin. So if a ball goes really long, but still spins, um, that's where I think the best ball lies for my game anyway. So here's the results, final results for the ball test. Winner, and it was clear, it was really clear, TP5X. Very long and still spun. Uh, followed by Pro V1. Uh, the new Chrome Soft X from Callaway. Obviously done a great job with that ball. TP5 and Pro V1 X. So there's your top five balls, people. Go out and get them. Thanks for watching me play with my balls. If you'd like me to test anything else out, comment down below.